Well, y'all, Ava's moving out. So you know what that means. It's villager hunt time, part two. Hello everybody, welcome to another Big CTV Plays Animal Crossing video. My name is Chris and I am back on Bottoms Up Island. There's Zucker, one of my favorite villagers. So I've had a few changes since I brought Static into my island. And I'm gonna show you off. I actually tried a different method to get new villagers and it was pretty darn successful. Uh, I did the campsite method. So essentially, if you don't know what that is, you use your campsite to find villagers and you can actually force a villager off your island using the campsite. I got two pretty darn good villagers out of it. One of them is Anka, who's the Egyptian cat. She's a very, very desired villager, so I'm quite happy I was able to get her. So she was the first one I got out of the campsite. Do I have anything to give you? I don't really... I'll give you something. Uh, I'll give you some pears here. Anka, where are you at? No. There you go. So I got Anka, and then I'm also going to show you my other villager who I got. Here's a pear. Enjoy a pear. I know you could have just picked that, but there you go. Mountain parka. That's nice of you. Alright, so Anka was the first new villager that I acquired after Static, who I got through Island Jumping. Other one's over here. I don't know if he's in his house. I think he is. Uh, so Anka replaced... Who did she replace? Callie, who was my squirrel. And then this one replaced my other cat. So let's see... Oh, uh, he's over here. Chatter! He's the cheese mouse. He's also a smug villager, which I have to say, the more I use, the more I play this game, the more I realize smug villagers are kind of my favorite. He's just funny. His house is pretty cool. He's got like a giant TV, a walk-in shower. He basically has a bathroom. Also, I love that the monkey's on the bidet, just, just chilling. It's a nice house though, and Chatter's cool. I only picked up Chatter. He, he wasn't on my list originally. But I picked him up because he was better than most of my other villagers. So I'm like, you know what? I'll grab him. So I got two new villagers. One of which I'm not going to be getting rid of anytime soon. And that's Bianca. The other one, Chatter, might go eventually. So I have got everything set up. I have 10 Nook Mile tickets. 10. So... I should be good to do a decent amount of hunting. So let me go get that set up. And then let's go island hunting. I'm gonna go hunt us down a villager. So hopefully this one will come a lot faster than my last one did because Static took forever to get and he wasn't even like one of my top picks. I kind of just, he was a person on my list. So we'll see. What happens? Here is the plot. Everybody's out today, man. Uh, so here's Ava's old house. The plot is now vacant. So, very soon, it's gonna have a new resident. So let's head to the airport. See what we can get. So similar to the last videos, two parts. Uh, I'm just gonna show stuff on the island. I'm not gonna cover like what I'm mining, so we'll see what happens, but uh see what happens. I wanna fly. Yes, I do have Rook Miles tickets there, Orville. Let's go. Oh, I'm ready. I'm wearing a captain's uniform and everything. A pilot. A pilot outfit. 
So I should be very well prepared for what's going to happen. All right, island number one. This looks like a basic island. Yeah, there's peaches. Uh, where's the villager? Oh, no! No! Wow, that was quick. Yes, the first shot. That's awesome. Well, this was a quick video. Drago was on my list and I really wanted him, so there we go. So if you don't know who Drago is, he's like, he's he's an alligator who's a dragon. He, he loves dragons, he looks like a dragon. He's pretty dope, actually. Drago, you're gonna come live on my island. So man, I have a colorful island now. I've got Egyptian cat, I've got like a Japanese octopus. I have a cheese mouse, electric squirrel, and now a dragon alligator. That was like the quickest, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Did I did I say yes? Yes, I did. Okay. All right, so I got Drago. Cool. So now I'm going to go mine this island of whatever I feel like mining. And then let's get Drago on our island. Cool. That was very painless. For so in addition to this being where I found Drago on my first attempt, I also found Big Fish Island, which means you can only get big fish. Now granted, I've caught a lot of black bass so far, but I got some bait that I made earlier, so I figured, you know what? Might as well try to catch some rare fish while I'm here, too. I also caught a tire, which is helpful for some DIYs, so... Just double lucky? I don't know. But, I don't think this is going to be the end of this character hunt, because I got one, but I have others that I'm trying to force out. So I might do another one in addition to this. We'll see what happens. Let's see, what am I going to get? Be a good fish. Another black bass, damn it. Oh well. I have made it back to Bottoms Up, and as you can see, the plot of land has been sold because it is Drago's new home. So Drago is moving in right here. It's gonna be awesome. So I think I'm gonna try a, a, a strategy. So what I was told, and I, I followed this YouTube channel that talks about some Animal Crossing strategies, if you make note of the date that you were able to force someone out, which I did, I wrote it down. Um, so I'm going to, first of all, make sure that Drago moves in safely. After he moves in, I'm going to time travel back to modern day. So back to today. Then I'm going to time travel forward to... Oh, the Zucker's in here for some reason. There's a hot tub. I, I kind of feel like I need it. So I'm going to time travel back in time, go back to the actual date, and then I'm going to time travel forward to the date that someone wanted to move out, because the, the, uh, the going rumor is that if you do that, they'll you're more likely to get somebody to move out. So I'm gonna try it. So, see if I can get someone to move out again and then we'll continue the search. So, we'll see who ends up going. I've been trying to go see her house forever. She's never home. Look at this house. That's the coolest house. She's got gold bars. She's got like a pyramid in the middle and even better, the best part, she has a golden toilet in the corner of her house that's dope that that is really one of the coolest houses i've ever seen this is a pretty good flush that's funny anka i just came by to visit you and see your house but yeah i finally got to see anka's house and boy is it cool that's dope bye anka
Well, I wonder which house Drago is in. Maybe the Asian-inspired one over here? That's pretty cool looking, actually. Let's go see his house. Yep, that's, uh, that's kind of what I expected. Drago, he's got a cool dragon in Sigma in the middle. That's dope. Welcome, Drago. Glad you're here. Oh, I think he's a lazy villager. Yeah, he is. So, I have three lazy villagers now. Which, I don't mind. I, I like lazy villagers. It seems like the two archetypes of villagers I like the most are lazy and smug. Which, now I have two lazy and two smug. So, I don't have any normal or, uh... Peppy now. Because I got rid of my last normal and my last peppy. Alright, it is the next day. Next evening, rather. So, I'm gonna go check out Drago's house. Maybe he's home. See if he's in there. He might not be. He might be out. Oh, he's in there. Okay, cool. So, I want to see his house. There's a money tree here. And I'm not going to say no to a money tree. Okay, let's go visit Drago. And then I'm going to do a couple more Nook Miles Plus things so I can get a total of five more Nook Miles tickets for the next hunt. Yo! That's a pretty dope house. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like it. Drago has good style. I mean, you only have one chair, Drago, so I can't really sit here. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? He's cool. I like this a lot. That's a nice house. Not as cool as Anka's. Anka still has the coolest house that I've seen so far, but... This one's pretty cool. I like the design, especially, like, I would totally use that floor pattern if I could find it in one of my houses, or one of my rooms. My new villager has moved in, and it's one I wanted pretty badly, actually. So now what I'm going to do is get more Nook Miles tickets, time travel back to current day, and then time travel to the day that I wrote down to see if somebody else wants to leave. We'll see. But in theory, it should work. So we'll find out in just a second.